Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Today I Found Out. And in the video today, how did XOXO come to mean hugs and kisses? Signing letters with an X dates back to the Middle Ages. At this time, many couldn't read or write, so this was an easy way for someone to sign something and, particularly in legal documents, assert that whatever was said in the document was true. It's speculated that the X represented a Christian cross or Christ at this time, so by signing X, you're essentially saying, in Christ's name, it's true or that I assert it. On this note, X first started being used as a substitute for Christ by religious scholars about a millennia ago, which is actually now how we ultimately got Xmas as an alternative name for Christmas. The X here is not actually the English X, but rather the Greek letter Chi, short for the Greek Christ. Whatever the case, the X was thus used on documents in this way. It is thought that perhaps the X made the jump to kiss, as people sometimes would kiss the X, Christ, in the same way some would kiss the Bible, in this context more or less meaning to seal it with a kiss. An alternate and somewhat less likely hypothesis that's popped up very recently is that the X simply looks like someone puckering up for a kiss or two people kissing, two people with triangular faces, apparently. Whatever the case, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, the first usage of X's to mean kisses came in a letter by a priest, Gilbert White, in 1763. It read, Madam, in the whole it is best that I have been the loser of a friendly bet, as it would not be safe in all appearances to receive even so much as a pin from your hands. I am with many a XXXX, XXXX, and many a Pater Noster, Our Father, and Ave Maria, Hail Mary, Jill White. However, while we can't say for sure, it seems just as likely that he actually meant blessings, not kisses. It's notable that there is a lack of any other instance of X meaning kisses for around another century after this letter. Further, in Daniel Defoe's 1719 work, Robinson Crusoe, we have this among other reference using crosses, in this case, physical crossing as blessings. There was a letter of my partners congratulating me very affectionately upon my being alive, giving me an account how the estate was improved and what it produced a year with the particulars of the number of squares or acres that it contained, how planted, how many slaves there were upon it, and making two and twenty crosses for blessings, told me he had said so many Ave Marias to thank the Blessed Virgin that I was alive. Whatever the case, around the mid-19th century, we start to have numerous references to X's meaning kisses, such as in Aunt Judy's magazine, issue 11, page 669, which is thought to have been published between 1866 and 1885, where one person says, all these crosses mean kisses, Jemima told me. From this, at least we know the X's meaning kisses preceded O's as hugs, and there are no such references up to this time of the latter occurring. If you weren't satisfied with the lack of definitiveness of the X part of things, you're going to be even less so with the O symbolizing the hug. The most popular hypothesis here presupposes the reasonably likely X Christ signing theory is correct. The hypothesis then goes that the O is of North American descent, with illiterate Jewish immigrants who couldn't sign their own John Hancock arriving into the US and refusing to sign with the X, the Christ cross thing, and instead using a circle on documents for a signature. Incidentally, many etymologists believe this is how the derogatory racial slur for Jewish people kike came about. Kike being the Yiddish word for circle. Jews, of course, being associated with circles, as that's how illiterate Jews would sign, rather than with the Christian X. Many people believe the O made the jump to meaning hug, because by looking down on the O from above and squinting just right at it, it sort of resembles two people embracing. But that is just pure speculation. It's also been speculated that the O was perhaps not chosen for the Jewish reason, but rather was in connection with tic-tac-toe, which popped up shortly after the first confirmed references to X's meaning kisses. Thus, once it became common to have a single letter to mark kisses, there was a need for a similar letter for another form of physical affection, and that, of course, was hugging. And indeed, maybe tic-tac-toe did provide the inspiration, or maybe it was the other way around, or maybe the whole Jewish thing is right. We just really don't know. Now, I know what you're thinking. If the X means kisses and the O means hugs, why do we say hugs and kisses when someone writes XOXO and not kisses and hugs? 
Well, good news, that one's also still largely up for debate. Perhaps it's because no one wants to go for a kiss when you haven't even hugged yet. One alternate hypothesis that has gained a little traction over the years is that the preceding ideas on the X's and O's are all wrong. This theory says that the X means hug because it mimics two people embracing, and the O is a kiss because it appears to be a puckered mouth, hence why it's there for hugs and kisses. Given that we know from documented references that X's first meant kisses before XOXO came about, or O's meant hugs, we can safely ignore this latter idea. One thing that we do know for certain, though, is that this video now holds the record for being the least definitive answer ever provided by Today I Found Out. But at the least, we certainly hope it was an interesting watch, because it certainly was interesting to research. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that subscribe button below. We put out brand new videos every day of the week. Also, let me thank our patrons on Patreon. If you are interested in supporting this show and helping us keep making these daily videos, please do consider supporting us on Patreon. We have some great perks lined up for people who do support us, so please check that out at patreon.com forward slash today I found out, or check the link in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.